Also in Grand Bahama, the Chamber of Commerce is looking at ways to help turn the island's ailing economy around. Business leaders on that island are sharing challenges as they seek to help rebuild the island. Here's Jamila Mizek. President of the Grand Bahama Chamber of Commerce, Greg LaRota, shaping up the chamber's 2019 to be a challenging one. He says in 2019, the economy was struggling, but there were signs of recovery. However, after Hurricane Zorian, there has been some setbacks. Since the storm, the president says the chamber has surveyed businesses, prioritized what they were told in terms of needs, and communicated those needs to the government, who acted swiftly and decided in favor of a lot of the recommendations. He adds that they were able to provide assistance that a lot of those businesses needed. However, he says there are some shortcomings. When it comes to recovery, what is that recovery? What does it look like? I think that's where we're, we're falling short. And by that I mean, if a business was struggling prior to Dorian, because there was a lack of... Um, critical mass, for instance, on Grand Bahama, um, to provide the environment for business to, to thrive in um, prior to Dorian, then that problem is even bigger now because a lot of folks left the island since Dorian. He says moving forward, the chamber should step back from crisis mood, move towards strategic planning, and provide an environment for businesses to grow. We need to look at how we can assist businesses with retooling maybe, looking at how they could provide a better product uh, to their customer base and what they can do to really strengthen their business as opposed to just going back to business as usual. Because if we do that, then you're looking at just short term and sooner or later some of these businesses will be uh, back out of business. And we're really looking for a long-term recovery. And I think when we say recovery, we should not just be talking about recovery from Dorian. We should be talking about recovery of the economy. And here's what he says he'd like to see the chamber achieve in 2020. I'd like to see the chamber being a more informed chamber, um, being involved in that process moving forward, um, helping small businesses, again, medium-sized businesses, to better equip themselves to survive uh, moving forward. Um, provide them with training, extra training. Provide them with the networking. Provide them with um, access to capital so that they can survive and be a part of that recovery uh, process. Jamila Mizek, Saturnest Network News.